Hello challengers! This is the intermediate exercise. So for intermediate fiddlers, I'd like you to go back, do the beginner A major scale. Now that's going to warm you up. Now we're going to do a two octave A major scale, because you can. And we're going to focus on fourth finger placement and intonation, making sure we're perfectly in tune. So two octave A major starts with first finger on the G string, goes all the way up to three on the E string. Your finger placement for this tune is high two from G to E string, high three on G and D string. So you have your C sharp and your G sharp. Third finger natural position, regular D, regular A on the E string. So here we go. First finger on the G, B, C sharp. Fourth finger, match it perfectly. Notice I'm going to the open string first for a guide. E, F sharp, G sharp, A again, fourth finger, match it perfectly, B, C sharp, D, E open for your guide, first finger F sharp, G sharp, A. This time we're going to try and match your fourth finger without any guides because you've already played the open string. match it perfectly. G. So there's your two octave A major scale. Now I want to challenge you to the A major arpeggio. But before we go off, sorry, my ideas are all over the place here. I want you to play the A major scale and call your note names out first, then play the scales. A, A, B, play, C sharp, play. So it looks something like this. And this, the reason being, we don't just play scales to torture students, even though some people might think that's a really fun idea. You're, lear you're playing scales to really learn your finger placement, and you're playing scales to understand what it should sound like. So first of all, we want to know where's A, where's B, where's C sharp on the neck of the violin, and then what should A, B, and C sharp actually sound like? So there's those two ideas that are marrying in this exercise. It's not scales for scales sake, because there's really no point, and that's kind of the whole idea behind our 14 day challenge. We're not practicing mindlessly. We're really focusing on specific areas that are going to target and improve our playing. So here we go. My first note is A, second is B, third is a high 3 C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, etc. So I want you to go up the two octaves, calling out your note name first. Last, I want you to run the arpeggio. So you're playing A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, E, A. Use your fourth finger here. Four. All right. Once you've done that, I want you to do the same idea. A, call it, play it. C sharp, call it, play it. E, call it, play it. If you have any questions, any comments, anything you want to let me know, share, or post on uh, Facebook, go ahead and send me a note, either on the Model Fiddler Facebook page or at modelfiddler at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for joining me today. We'll see you tomorrow for day four.